Welcome back to the channel and today I wanted to react to the new Assassin's Creed Valhalla gameplay kind of like deep dive footage type thing. It's about 10 minutes long so I hope you enjoy that reaction and I'll be back after with some thoughts on what I've seen. If you'd like to hit the like button and subscribe that'd be great. I'm going to be doing a full let's play of Assassin's Creed Valhalla so if that sounds like something you're interested in subscribe hit the little bell turn notifications on leave a comment down below telling me what you think about this gameplay and assassin's creed valhalla also <laughs> oh that's a bit loud assassin's creed valhalla gameplay walkthrough xbox series x we're just going to show anything new from the other trailers regardless i'm excited for this game this is all running on xbox series x as well apparently I don't know how good it's going to look for a YouTube video, but it looks goddamn amazing. I'm so excited for this game. I'm going to be doing a Let's Play on this. Even if I have to upload a one-hour episode every day for a year, it's going to happen because this game just looks phenomenal. Hi, I'm Julien Laferriere. I'm the producer of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. What the hell was his name? Looking forward to players, players Leferriere. Xbox Series a cool X name. and Series S. I'm really excited to be here today and do a deep dive. Into <laughs> look at it. Ooh, more about the settlement. The settlement is really the heart of the experience of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Being okay. A Viking clan leader, this is where your clan lives with you. Oh man, you it's just gonna be like a living world. As you have many adventures in the in the game. Basically, um, you have buildings that you can upgrade and renovate. Uh, this is where you're going to see the concept. I wonder if there's a set the place. Oh, look at that. In the game. The settlement oh, you can actually change what's in it. Opportunities. So you are able to kind of tailor the settlement. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, man. As you progress through the game, you will unlock many different buildings. And each yeah. of those buildings will we know give that. you many possibilities. Whether it's a blacksmith where you get to upgrade your gear. Or maybe a tattoo artist where you can customize the appearance of your character and your hairstyle and even oh i love this have your, your collections through the roman collectors or the hunters or the the fishermen Every ah so things that you collect you can like display them what we call the war table and you'll see different opportunities i was gonna say i wonder if that settlement is a set place in the world or you can set up anywhere that'd be pretty cool if you could set up anywhere sometimes it's an opportunity for a military conquest or sometime maybe a character that you mean will have an agenda of its own the, the goal is to have a lot of different variety for the players to offer. Every quest arc has a specific flavor for you to discover an interesting Jesus. cast of characters as well. And all of this is kind of channeled through the war table with Ranvi being your lead counselor. Okay, um, so, so the war the table is the main part of the game, that when to you move around. Settlement, you consult with Ranvi and she will basically tell you what the local lords have been uh, talking about. So really, the settlement is the heart of the experience of Assassin's Creed. So you have to Valhalla. really make some it's decisions about your game. You start and end every quest arc in the game. So it's really meant to be this oh, piece. Oh, this is going to be so good. Live true and see prosper as they uh, live the adventures of the game. River raids. Oh, more about raids. Look. Yeah, a little guy in his little boat then to the right. <laughs> Oh my god, I cannot wait to blow that horn. main activities you do in the game is raiding. So basically, uh, you leave from your settlement on your longboat with your crew. Okay, we've kind of seen this before. Saxon location. Oh, the combat looks really good. It feels like... It actually feels like he's hitting them, like the fuds and the noises. Raid, you find special resources, and you can use those resources to later on upgrade your settlement, unlocking new buildings and new possibilities. I wonder if you have to raid quickly, like some other forces might come and, uh, and defend the place that you're raiding, so I wonder if you have to go and get in and out really quickly. So the raiding really fits within the main loop of the game and enables you to see your clan prosper oh. in England. Haha, <laughs> this game's gonna be so good. <laughs> Trading posts. Oh, cool. Bites. Round one. Bites. Making a Ooh, game about that was brutal. I really wanted to deliver on the brutality of the combat. Oh, I just said that, mate. Ah. 
That's a bit unnecessary. You can really feel the impact of the weapons connecting. I literally just said that as well. Oh my days, that looks amazing. The blood looks a bit. wanted to give the players a range of abilities that they can equip and try to really customize the playstyle that they want. And all the abilities are really grounded into what it means to Viking fighting. There's like a throwing knife, scorpion, pulling type thing into about the combat is the variety of the enemy That's a bear? in the game. We really want to push the challenge forward for the players to kind of have a very good fighting Oh, that guy's big. That feels really good in His the name's model. Goliath. So 50, 60 hours in, in the game, you still have a challenge for your fighting abilities. 50, 60 hours. I think I'll still be playing this game after about bloody 600 hours, mate. Nah, that mustn't have been easy to break that big guy's neck. Cordelia. We have a great fighting system without epic boss fights to really challenge the players to their full capacities. Ooh, this I'm looks good. From a personal point of view, the first time I grabbed the controller in my hands and did an amazing boss fight at 60 FPS, the game was just so smooth. It was so nice. Just an awesome, really, really cool moment. Oh my days. Boss fights do look pretty damn epic. Exploration. This is what I'm interested in. Our how vast is this going to be? Explorers, and we wanted to bring some of that flavor into the game to have the players oh. feel like they're exploring <laughs> looks a brand new world. Oh my days! Is that caves and stuff? How much is going to be hidden in this game? As long as your horse doesn't need too much maintenance, I'm great with that level of exploration. Because if you have to keep like stopping and resting and feeding your horse, that's going to be quite annoying. The raven. So the raven, if you fly your raven, the raven will point you out that uh, opportunities for you using beams of light. And every, oh, wow. every beam of light has a surprise or a little challenge for players to discover. That's so good. Raven on Series X is that we have little to no loading time. So we always have this immersive experience always available, always there. That's really good for finding things easily without having to just like walk around the world. Oh my days, that just looked so so seamless as well between the Raven and the thing. Didn't want them there. And sometimes fighting just doesn't cut it. So you have to use other options like social stealth and fans of the franchise will be happy to see yeah so here we go this is like the assassin's creed side of stuff into this game uh, just with the blending of them i don't mind it a little bit a great tribute to assassin's it's kind of my biggest problem with assassin's creed but if it's not the main thing you have to do i'm happy with it Ooh, just blend in my the big microphone of england it's just a really cool feeling like, if stealth's, like, just a small part of it, I can get on board with it, because I just want to go around and crack people's heads. tool for this is the Odin site, as it highlights enemies, loot, key items, so you have every information at your disposal to just sneak in and make your way through. Oh, so you don't even have to fight at all. That's pretty cool as well. I wouldn't mind a bit of that. Ah, oh, this game looks so good. Myth Worlds. We could do a game about Vikings without touching on their amazing mythology. Vikings were actually living their mythology. Cow, look at that in basis. the background, the, bound, the mountain. Lives. So we had to find a cool way to depict that into our game. So in your settlement, there is a seer who lives there. And that seer will send So we're going to Asgard. Quest. And the first world you get to explore is Asgard. So this oh, very iconic it. moment of the Viking mythology is available in the game. And it's looking great with all the next-gen capabilities we have. So really oh looking days. forward to players uh, exploring this amazing world that we've crafted. Our game is leveraging the next-gen capabilities. Whether it's the game running at 60 FPS on Series X, making a great, I want it fine, now. smooth experience, or the improved loading times that really creates those immersive Look at moments. that. That looks so good. On Assassin's Creed Valhalla, we want players to live their ultimate Viking fantasy. Oh, I'm Our going to. to work Don't you worry about three that. Years ago, and very three years, and they got it to this good in three years. This Jesus. Amazing, massive open world for you to explore you're gonna love to be a viking 
Oh, I'm definitely going to love being a Viking. God damn. So I won't go on too long, you know, because you saw my reaction. I love the look of this game. I'm not a huge fan of Assassin's Creed games in the past because the stealth was so prominent in the game. But it looks as if, like, that is not the main aspect of the game. It's more so a, a portion of the game. You know, you can choose to do it and there's going to be certain areas where you have to do it. And I'm totally fine with that because everything else just looks like you can go and crack people's heads open and raid and stuff like that. You know, I'm excited to get into this world and like even if I did like a two hour episode every day, I would play this game for a year straight because it just looks like my type of game and my type of home. Um, a game very similar to Red Dead Redemption, but seems a lot more advanced, a lot more intricate with a lot more stuff to do. And yeah, I'm just I'm excited to see what comes of it. So that's all I've got to say, really. Again, let me know in the comments what you thought about this gameplay. Hit the like button if you wish to. Subscribe if you're new around here. Hit the little bell, turn notifications on, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching. I've been easy now. You guys have been awesome.